Ladies and gentlemen, our final award presenter tonight is the President and Chief Operating Officer of Continental Resources, a major supporter of the Oklahoma Foundation for Excellence and its David and Molly Boren Mentoring Initiative. Please join me in welcoming Oklahoma City business and community leader, Rick Butt. Ralph Waldo Emerson once said, enthusiasm is one of the most powerful engines of success. When you do a thing, do it with all your might. Put your whole soul into it. As a law professor at the University of Oklahoma, Kathleen Guzman brings a contagious enthusiasm for her subject matter and a caring soul for helping students succeed. She has a gift for taking complex subjects in property law and wills and trusts and in injecting them with humor, creativity, and clarity. While their law classes are engaging, they are also extremely rigorous. Professor Guzman assigns daily written case briefs and gives exams that, are re that require intensive preparation. Her goal is to give students the, the tools and knowledge they need to, confident, to be confident lifelong learners. Professor Guzman has earned numerous teaching awards, but perhaps the re greatest recognition comes from her students. As one alumnus wrote, she leads by example. I am a better attorney and a better person for having been her student. Let's see what our colleagues have to say about her in the video. Now let's assume that someone is a son or a daughter. I'll have my students take a doctrine, a complex doctrine that we've looked at. But I've, I've said, okay, students, you know, here's this, here's this concept. Write a song about it and perform it. And, but, but I say, here are the ground rules. The, the song must be... Um, technically legally correct and so you can't just wing it. She uh, is able to breathe life into subjects that normally I think people would not find to be particularly exciting. Because that happened it pulled in um, that intervening document and rendered it technically in existence as of the date of execution. I'll ask gently encourage push prod pull um, beg, borrow, and steal sometimes to get the students to realize that they know it and then they can do it. Now, Professor Guzman's courses are very rigorous, particularly her exams. That's what she's known for. But the best part is she gives everybody the tools they need to just be excellent at the subject. And so she's been able to take the preparation she requires and teach students to use those skills to be able to serve their clients. It's incumbent upon me to instill that respect for preparation upon the students because they're going to have clients who, whose very lives might depend on them. Um, and I think if you asked students, you would find her doors open. She's always willing uh, to chat with them about what is going on in their lives and, and demonstrate concern and regard for them. And I think that's uh, unique um, and special. Um, and just one more thing that makes her particularly deserving of this award. And I think the students find, in, uh, that, and they tell me that they find, that uh, she can take a dull day and make it a happy one. Please welcome the winner of the Oklahoma Medal for Excellence in Research University Teaching from the University of Oklahoma College of Law, Kathleen Guzman. Thank you, Mr. Bott, for your kind remarks. I admit I am terrified of public speaking. And some years ago, therefore, I decided that the best corrective might well be practice, and I forced myself to sign up for a speaker's bureau. I was horrified to receive my first speaking invitation from Mensa, and I um, endlessly sought advice. The advice essentially distilled to this, be witty, be clever, and most of all, do not let on that you're scared. I was. And my husband finally set me straight. One night he asked me why, if I became so nervous so often, I loved teaching so much. And it only took me a brief moment to consider, but the answer was fairly quick. I said, I love discussing things that matter to me with people who matter to me. I love knowing that even when I get myself turned around and sometimes the students with me, we can oftentimes come out of the other side, um, sometimes even the better for it. And I get so excited about the classroom that I forget about being scared. 
And my husband said, there's your answer. Don't worry about being funny or smart. Brave or scared, just be yourself. Simple words, but true. And maybe because teaching matters so much to me, I remain anxious. At times, even about walking into that classroom, and I suspect that I always will. But the freedom that comes with being one's self, the trials and errors, the fears, the mistakes, the whole beautiful catastrophe liberates us to get out of our own way. And when we can stop obsessing over perfection, the sheer joy in living and in learning cannot be suppressed. It just can't. And this I wish for all of us in everything we do. My sincere appreciation to a family I love and admire and who encourages me colleagues who inspire me, and a series of bright and generous students from whom I have been privileged to learn over the past 20 years. I am extraordinarily grateful to the Oklahoma Foundation for Excellence for sharing this treasured award, and more importantly, for all that the organization and its members do to celebrate and support the students of our state in realizing their fullest potential. Thank you.